most of the industry uses what's called an encapsulated acid. Usually, mm -hmm. it's typically an encapsulated lactic acid or an encapsulated citric acid. That is derived from typically derived from like a GMO wheat or corn. The encapsulated part is they literally, for lack of a better word, like dip it, you know, encapsulate it yeah. in a hydrogenated seed oil. Mm. And the reason they do that is, A, it's cheaper. B, it allows you to cook things at a higher temperature. It's like a heat heat activated. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's very stable. So it's, you know, if you're making a bunch of doing big batches, like yeah. you're going to get, you want to get the same results every time. Yeah. It's an easy way to do that when you're introducing a higher temperature and, and a lot of volume. So that's why they're used. Mm -hmm. Brings the cost of the, uh, you know, lowers the cost to the end consumer. Yeah. Lowers their cost to make it, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why they're used. Most of the industry use that. that that's the standard. So I I, I don't like that mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, for, for kind of lack of a better better term it's just like that I, I didn't want to produce something that had that in there because what happens is you mix it in with the meat you throw it in the oven as the temperature rises that hydrogenated oil melts mm. exposing the acid to the meat which then starts that fermentation process well that oil doesn't just evaporate right so that goes into the meat you're able to make these Kind of the whole process is probably a, I don't know, let's call it three, four hour process. So pretty quick. Um, but again, you're even for the guys that are claiming grass fed and finished animals, pasture raised, whatever it may be. In my opinion, it's you're kind of messing that up by putting this stuff in there. Yeah. Right? So they can market that we're using this high quality meat and all that. But when you put that stuff in there, it's like, well, you should have just used the the cheap, poor quality right. meat. Because yeah. what's the point? Yeah, and you don't have to put it on the label, like. No, you you have their ingredients list will say encapsulated acid. Gotcha. So, yeah, but that like, just like covers up the fact that you don't have to say like canola oil or whatever oil is going to be. Kind of a no, they'll. Oil. Yeah, I mean, to my, no, you definitely don't have to do that. Yeah. It's uh. I'm trying to think. I, I I can't recall off the top of my head if yeah. anyone's, you know, saying like no seed oils on their yeah. on their yeah. package with with that on their ingredient list. But I feel like I've never seen anything like the encapsulated acid. You, you'll too. see on the ingredient list okay. it'll okay. it'll say encapsulated lactic mm. acids on nine out of ten sticks that you pick up. Gotcha. So that's how you know if if it says that you should probably stay away from the stick. In my opinion, yeah. yeah. Based on what you've seen, yeah, in your yeah. Research, in in yeah. my opinion, yeah. I don't know, obviously, the details of everyone's business and what yeah. they're what they're doing, but yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, so so our process, how that differs, is our process is we use a starter culture, and so that is just a different process. It's a slower process. It's a more expensive process, but it allows you to it's it's from derived from a non gmo beet mm. and so you mix that with the meat and then you have this kind of low and slow fermentation process mm. which now you're not getting the gmo stuff you're not getting the uh seed oils yeah you're actually getting some probiotics in there nice and that's why it's so easy on the gut you know for i know you've had some Definitely. some stomach issues and I've got several friends that have had stomach issues, and they're totally fine eat, eating our sticks, whereas the other ones will have them curled up in a ball. Um, but so, yeah, so we we introduce the starter culture instead of the lactic acids. That's a, you know, takes it from a three- to four-hour process to, let's call it 16, you know, so, so four or five times longer. And it just makes for a better, cleaner product. That's amazing. I mean, it, I know y'all have had it. It's just, it's cleaner. It's tastier. It more, most importantly, it doesn't tie your stomach up in knots. You oh. know, if you have stomach issues, 
And so it's just for me, it, it's just if I'm going to be selling something, it's the right thing to do. Yeah. I don't want to give I don't want to give the I'm, I'm thinking of my friends, my family and their kids. I, I, I don't want to give my kids three year old <laughs> something that's not the best thing on the market. And good thing enough, I've got a, several of them that have three year olds. Yeah. And their three year olds love our sticks. Yeah. And they're and the parents are happy because they know they're eating something you know, that's clean of high quality. 